it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Chic. I was a pinner before Pinterest was cool. I would tear out magazine articles, put them in binders, and that was my pin board way back in the day. As I've gotten older, I still love magazines. I still love to turn a magazine page. I love inspiration. I love reading the articles. And I still, to this day, tear out magazine articles. So I decided I wanted to create a modified version of my binders using the ARC system. Let me show you how to do that and let's get started with PicMonkey. Opening up PicMonkey, you want to basically design your cover, which is what we're doing. So you want to design an 8x10. Go to the overlay tab and open the images that you want for your cover. I decided I wanted to do a collage, so I went on my Pinterest board, oddly enough, and picked out some of my favorite images. So all you do is you just size them how you want and add your images. It's as easy as that. Once you get your designs in place, you can save it like this. Or you can do what I did and add a little bit of kind of like a finesse to it. I did a circle, made it white, made it fade a little bit. I just wanted like the hint of the pictures below coming through. Picked a font, which you'll see here that I went through quite a bit of fonts before I found one that I really liked. I know I'm not the only one who does this. I just wanted to type in inspiration. And this awkward pause is me spell checking how to spell inspiration on my phone. I'm not even kidding you guys. I had to leave it in here because that's just so me. So here I'm trying to find my font. I really like the one that I chose and you just size it. Boom. Done. You save it. As easy as that. So you go ahead and save it. I just saved it as inspiration onto my desktop and that is it. Now here I am removing and resaving just because I wanted to have options. For this project, you'll need your cover printout, scrap of paper, a laminator, laminating sheets, paper trimmer, art punch, stickers for your dividers, and I forgot to include a tape runner or like a glue runner. I use one from Hobby Lobby that basically just lays a strip of glue down on my paper so I can glue it together easily. The first step you want to do is you want to lay out your cover on your scrap of paper. I find it's easiest to glue the paper, your cover paper, to the scrap of paper first and then cut it out as one. So then that way you don't have to worry about making it precise. Once you get everything taped in place, you want to go ahead and cut it out using your paper trimmer. I like my Fist First trimmer. I just think it does a really good job, but you can use any paper trimmer that you have. And I just cut along the lines very carefully. Run it through the laminator. I only laminated this once. I thought it was sturdy enough. And here I am just pressing the corners down. I did not trim my cover at all. I just left it the size with the laminate and used my arc punch along with the back. Here I'm trying to fix my punch. It was, one of them was stuck. I don't know what the problem was. This is what your notebook should look like. Now, I did make dividers. I made dividers that say fashion, home, and DIY. So I picked out some of my favorite scrap of paper, cut the top off. Since I have three dividers, I decided that I wanted to use my notebook as a guideline and have my tabs on the top. So I laid out my scrap paper, decided how I wanted them to coordinate, and where they needed to be cut off at. And you'll see my lines on my paper. Now having three, I wanted them to be staggered. So one is smaller, the middle, and then the third one is the full sheet size. So I went ahead and I took my stickers and wrote out fashion. After I got fashion at the top, I used that kind of as a guideline to go ahead and cut my tab. What you're seeing me do here using my paper trimmer. Now, 
After this was done, I realized that my page was a little too long, or my divider actually, was a little too long for my laminating sheet. So I went ahead and cut them down. Run your divider through your laminator and carefully cut it out. When cutting it out, be careful, don't trim too close to the paper edge. Your laminate will separate. I Once I was done trimming, I then punched it with my arc punch which was super duper easy. I did make three dividers and I don't know if I'm gonna be adding more or not, but having this arc system makes it really easy to punch your dividers and make more. So let me show you the finished product. When you open my notebook, the first thing you see is the divider that says fashion. Now these are all of my fashion and style related articles and inspiration. The first thing that's in here is my two by list. This is one that I made and just put in my arc punch easy peasy. Now I do on my Target page flags write notes and things that I love. I also use pink sharpie all over in this, don't judge me. So this truly is just style inspiration for me. On those days when I'm feeling uninspired, you may see me walking my bloodhounds wearing this. Okay, I'm just kidding. But I did love this photo. I think it is beautiful. So I just have more notes and outfits that I like, things I may want to buy. You know, typical girl stuff, right? Now the next one is home, and normally this consists of the latest Pottery Barn catalog. Which actually, these were from Pottery Barn, so it's funny I said that in a joke. And I just, again, inspiration. The next one is DIY. These are things that I see that I think I can DIY and make really cool videos. So I do keep some inspiration in that, like that leather belt. Love it. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did and you recreate it, please make sure you tag me in your photos, hashtag me to Jean Sheik so I can see them. How do you keep your inspiration? I hope you liked this project. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Stay inspired.